Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to model a pair of binoculars. So go ahead and open up a Maya scene and let's get started. To kind of briefly explain what I think my process is going to be, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the main parts from two cylinders, and I think I'm going to bridge um, the binoculars, like the two eye pieces together using the bridge tool. Um, well, we'll see how that works out, but yeah. So first things first, let's go ahead and take this cylinder we just made and I want to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. So it's facing us. I also want to make it longer so you can just like scale that up a bit. And then I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably cut out this chunk and extrude it. So let's go ahead and add a multi-cut, maybe like, yeah, I guess like halfway. And then let's take these faces and control E and extrude it and up that thickness. Uh, that's probably about good. All right, we'll, we'll do that. And then click W immediately and I wanna push them just a little bit to the um, to the right, so it's like that. All right, now what I want to do is I want to extrude those faces again, and we're going to offset them in just a tad, like that, and then I want to up the thickness just, a, oh wait, control E again, and then up the thickness to be like that. So you're just getting like these little steps kind of. All right. Next up, what I wanna do is you're gonna take these faces, you're gonna control E and up their thickness. Actually, let's offset them instead, maybe about there, then control E and up their thickness to probably about like there maybe. There we go. All right, now let's build this little part in the back. I think it's just like a smaller circle. So let's do control E, we'll offset it. Maybe about like there. Control E one more time and let's up that thickness to probably about like there. And then I'm also noticing that like this, uh, these vertices should be larger because it tapers. Maybe like that. Actually, we can go ahead and make those little like ridges. Um, so basically what that is, is it's a multi-cut. So let's go grab our multi-cut tool. And let's make a multi-cut here, and then probably one here, and like one here. Then go into edge mode, click Q, double click these edges, select them like that. Just double click and hold shift to get them all. And then we're going to bevel that and give it two segments and make the fraction really small, like that. All right, and then you can either select the edges and just scale them in to make those like little ridges, uh, or you could take the faces, just kind of like whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's how you get that little ridge effect. Or at least, that's at least how I do it. <laughs> all right, and then let's edit these front faces. So go ahead and hold tab and select all those faces, and then control E to extrude it. We'll offset that part in. And then what you're gonna do is just do control E again. And this time we're gonna down that thickness, um, not like super far, maybe like about there. And then just make sure it's not poking out. We might just wanna offset it down just a tad so that it's not peeking through any of the faces. But that looks good. All right, we kind of have like the basic shape of, of that, um, that piece. Uh, we can go ahead and grab this edge, or maybe even like this edge. Both of these edges kind of go up uh, in that photo. 
So I'm just going to click and drag and kind of like bring them over a bit just to get that like rounded piece right here. Look at a little bit more like a triangle, you know, instead of a full circle. You can do the same with these bottom ones as well. Just kind of giving it like a little bit more of a curve. All right, there we go. Okay. So this part, let's see. I want to go ahead and do, well, actually first, let's just fix this face. So go into face mode, hold tab and select all these. Um, control E and offset, and then control E and move the thickness down to be like that. All right, um, and then let's grab our multi-cut one more time and let's cut it, let's cut it in half and then cut it in half one more time. If you guys don't remember, cutting in half is just holding control and clicking the middle mouse button. And then let's hold tab, click one and double click the next and then extrude that and up the thickness to get that little section there. All right, so we've got like the basics of some binoculars there. Um, really what we're gonna end up doing is duplicating that object and just reflecting it across the, um, the X axis. Um, I guess we should probably go through and bevel some edges before we duplicate that though. So go into edge mode and um, just hold shift and double click any edge that is like at a 90 degree. Um, so like any one that you think would need a sharp, a sharp edge. Basically, a, a lot of the edges will. Don't forget the inside ones too. Those are important. All right, and then when you think you've got that, you can do Control B to bevel it, and uh, it might be just fine with just one segment actually. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks. All right, so we've got that all beveled out. Uh, you can click one again. I guess now we can just duplicate this object. So go ahead and duplicate. All right, so you can do 180 or negative 180 on the Z axis, and then you wanna make the Z scale negative one, and that will uh, reflect the object to be like this. And then let's space out the binoculars just a little bit, uh, maybe like about that far. And then we're going to be bridging them in two different places. But before we bridge them, uh, we need to combine the object. So do mesh combine, and now they are one object. Now we can grab the multi-cut tool and let's cut them in half first. So hold control and middle click. And then let's do middle clicks on the other sides as well. Um, I'm thinking for the bridge, we'll take maybe half of these guys. So it'll be, we'll take this face and bridge it to these faces. So just select the faces that you want to bridge and then we're going to do edit mesh bridge. Let's go to the option box first because I want to just check all my uh, settings. Okay, I don't think I need 20 divisions. So I'm gonna do like 10 instead. All right, so you can see it's pretty thick when you do three faces. So I think I'm just gonna stick with two. So let's just select these two faces and then apply the bridge. All right, I'm gonna do the bottom two. You can just um, like undo until you get what you, what you like. I'm gonna do these as well. All right, so now they're connected, so that's fun. Um, for the next part, we can use a new cylinder. So if you want to grab a new cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis and then click W and move it on over here, I'm going to scale it down just a tad because first it's pretty small. I'm going to move it into the middle and let's elongate it maybe like about there. All right, this middle part should be bigger. So I'm gonna grab our multi-cut tool and I'm gonna do control and middle click and we'll make um, middle cuts in the middle and then two on each side. 
and then we'll select these faces and control E to extrude them, which you could just make it however thick you think it needs to be. Probably like there's pretty good. All right, and then I'm gonna scale that down just a tad. And I'll make it a little bit longer just to fit in that space a bit better. I'm going to grab that multi-cut one more time and add middle cuts on each of these sides and then add one more like that. And then you can take this ring of faces and this ring of faces and control E and up that thickness like that. And then all you need to do is just bevel those edges. So go into edge mode and just hold shift and double click all of the edges that are 90 degrees, which we do have a, quite a couple on this model. Um, also, if it's like hard to see, you can hide the main binocular if you need to be able to see the edges a bit better. Oh, don't forget the... Okay, good. Yeah, don't forget the actual, like, bottom and top. I'm going to give this one two segments because I think it needs it. All right, you can smooth both of the objects to kind of see how that's looking. Looking pretty good. I'm going to just uh, elongate these just like a tad. Actually, I guess I should select both and elongate them. Oh, that does not work. Let's take this and just elongate it. And then we'll move this over. And then you can elongate that as well. There we go. All right, that's um, that's about it for the binoculars. Um, probably what I would do next is uh, we can just add some like quick texture to it. Uh, you can also combine the objects. You can do mesh combine. Um, and then do assign new material and we'll do AI standard surface. This will just be like the black part of the binoculars. You don't have to make it like all the way black, but maybe like a dark gray is good. Um, and then for the glass, we can go into face mode and select the faces on the inside. So I guess just those guys and that one. And you can do the ones on the back as well. And then assign a new material, AI standard surface. And I'll make these like that greenish color. And you're gonna want to go down to um, transmission and up that and it'll kind of be a bit see-through. Let's save this before we get that much further. And let's grab a plane, move that plane a bit down, and I'm just gonna assign the checker texture to it like I do in all my tutorials. And then click on Arnold and grab that sky dome light. I'm gonna move this guy down just a bit. All right, that looks good. And then save it and do Arnold render and you can see how your binoculars are looking. Mm, they look good. See, they're a little shiny. So um, I would probably just edit that black texture to be like a bit more rough, maybe like about there. And then you can do the same thing with the glass is you can make it um, like if you want it to be a bit more reflective like that. You can up the metalness um, and then up the transmission too if you want it to be a bit more see-through. But um, yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. So that's just like a really easy tutorial on how to make a pair of binoculars. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I usually answer in the comments um, pretty quick. Um, but 
yeah, other than that, I've got a newsletter. Um, if you guys want to get emails about the monthly tutorials I'll be dropping. Um, I also have a virtual tip jar that you guys can um, donate to to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. And um, yeah, I'm on Instagram and TikTok if you guys want to see some other fun content. But other than that, I hope you had a blast. I hope you did really well. And I can't wait to see uh, your creations. So yeah, I'll see you guys in our next tutorial. Bye, guys.